Hey guys, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here, and we're taking a look at a 2005 Volkswagen Lupo GTI. And so this is the sports car version of the Lupo, Volkswagen's smallest car at the time. I suppose now the smallest car is the Volkswagen Up, which I think is a little bit smaller than this even. But uh, the Lupo, very cool car, GTI, even cooler. And we're getting a lot of requests for these recently because people found out that Japan's the best place to buy your, your Lupo GTIs from. So it's a 1.6 liter engine combined with the six speed manual transmission. Makes this a sporty little car, good on gas, easy to run about. Okay, not much to say here. Engine oil and coolant both look to be normal. We have some rattles. You can stop them by touching it. And the engine's a little bit shakier than it typically would be, but uh, nothing that I would worry about. Close the hood. Hopefully close it properly. There we go. Have a quick look at the car because it's small and fun. Okay, and let's go translate the auction sheet here. So it's a 2005. This one has 78,037 kilometers, authentic mileage, six speed manual, 1.6, auction grade 4.5 with an interior B and an exterior A. It's a dealer trade in, first time at auction, by Xenon headlights, roof spoiler on it, a leather wrapped steering wheel. Okay, our exterior has various scratches and dents, really no dents on the car anywhere, but it does have a couple of scratches. Door mirror scratched, windshield rock chip, interior dirty, floor carpet dirty, seat wear, steering wheel grip wear, and dashboard has something glued onto it. It's a mount piece there. You can kind of see it through the reflection. Okay, looking at the body, we have A2 right there, and then nothing else. Uh, and then scratches on the wheels, A2 it says. Okay, so let's do a once around here. The vehicle is in stock condition. That's the front stock bumper for the GTI. These are the stock wheels as well. Nice thing about having a small car with small wheels is tires are inexpensive. Four wheel disc brakes. Extremely short rear overhang, but quite a lot of room inside and easy to put four people in. The seats flip uh, so that it gives a lot of room for somebody to get in even though there aren't any rear doors. And then headroom in the rear is appropriate. Okay. Front end with the four headlights is uh, Volkswagen era styling, I suppose. Looks good, I think. I like the looks of the GTI with the extra inlets in the bottom there. Here's your A2 scratch. There's also another scratch back here. But that's it for body damage. Oh, there's this too. I actually didn't take a picture of this. Some sort of bubbling in the paint in the rear spoiler. Okay. I like the dual center exhaust. I think that's a really cool look to it. And it has a sporty engine sound. I think it suits the car. Open the back hatch up. Now you don't get an awful lot of room to put stuff in here. Most of your room is designated to the people area. Cool red seat belts. I think that's a Lupo GTI exclusive part, but not 100% sure. Close that properly. I like the door cards. They are body colored. Whatever color Lupo that you get, you get the same color door cards. Very cool. You don't get a glove box in it, which is a bit of a shame, but you do get side pockets to put stuff if you want. Nice big speakers down there. I've never actually listened to them, so I don't know how good they sound. Modern Volkswagen feel inside. For being a small car, I would say that it's it's a nice feel inside. It's good. I like the way the seats fit compared to the position of the steering wheel and the shifter. I think it's uh, appropriate. And the seats look kind of like a Recaro seat. I don't know if they actually are or not. Airbags and seats. That sounds safe. Flip, 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 flip. Super easy to get in. 
And then, because they use this style for tilting the seat, when you flip it back, your seat is has the proper amount of tilt. You don't have to reset it every time. So you have a little bit of sagginess here. Six speeds make it easier to drive the car fast, I suppose. Because with a small displacement engine and a small car, having the extra speeds gives you better gear ratios. Steering wheel's in great condition. Chrome surround gauges there. AC works. Power steering feels good. Clutch is very easy to actuate. I think it's a clutch by wire. Missing the cover for the cup holder here. Okay, pretty simple. And look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six. That means less space in between gears. That means more power gets to the street. I had someone complain once saying, you're not supposed to pull it up while it's clicking like that. And then I told that person that they're an idiot, basically. I usually don't comment on uh, people calling, calling me out when they're idiots, but uh, at that time I did. Okay, that's kind of like a dashboard. These are the papers from the auction, including the auction sheet. Okay, so not much to say here. I think that the Lupo GTI is kind of like a Mark 1 Golf GTI. Modern era version. So, it's a cool car. And because the condition is good, this video is going to be shorter than they usually are, and so hope you enjoyed this short little video of a Lupo GTI. So thank you for watching this. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section or check out our website and send us an email. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.